Hey guys, it's Liz and we're flipping things and it is day 16 of my 30 day eBay challenge where I try to make a thousand dollars profit on eBay using only items that are already in my store and other strategies to try to get my sales up. <laughs> Let's see how it's going. Welcome back. I hope everyone is doing well. It is Sunday. I tried to make a video yesterday and it just got so busy with like sports and running around and all the things that come with uh, being a parent and I didn't get to film a video, but guess what? Saturday, I shipped out four items. I was so excited. I know that sounds really like underwhelming to a lot of people, but I was really excited. Now I have a confession. <laughs> I do. I'm always honest with you guys. All four of my sales yesterday were to subscribers. So first off, thank you so much to Angela and David for helping me with my challenge. Um, I'm still going to share with you what sold. I'm still excited about what sold, but it does feel a little bit like cheating when it wasn't just a regular customer searching through eBay and they came across my item. Anyhow, let's talk about what's sold. Up first, Sex and the City DVD. And this was a DVD that was one of the experiments that I did. I actually have two DVDs that sold this weekend that were part of that experiment where I ended the listing because it had been up there forever and never sold, ended the listing, and relisted the item. I am a believer. I, I did that with 10 items. I've now had three of those 10 items sell after being in my store for over two years and not selling. So I should do an entire video about that because it's like miraculous. I am not going to lie. So Sex in the City. What my final profit on this after fees and shipping was $4.40. I did get this DVD for free. And in this case, there were two items in this order. So I combined the shipping because I shipped them together, making the shipping costs go down quite a bit. And I wound up making $4.40 on this item. Super happy with that. The next item is some prenatal vitamins. I have a confession. Oh, we're filled with confessions today. It is all about the confessions. When I went down and got this item and went to pack it, I realized... These expired in August of this year. It is November. I am pretty good about going through my store and checking to make sure there's nothing expired in the HBA items that I do have on hand. I missed it. I missed it. Oh my God. So I am not totally sure if Angela was just trying to get it out of my store so I didn't get in trouble with eBay. <laughs> Angela, is that what you were doing? Anyways, I'm very, very grateful that it's out of my store. And um, i that's the first thing I will be doing today when I get some time is going through to make sure there's nothing else in there that is expired because oh, that can get you a little temporary suspension from eBay. And that would really throw my 30-day challenge off. On this one, I made a profit of $4.39 after shipping eBay fees and what it cost me to buy the items. So not bad. The next thing that sold is Breaking Bad, the complete seasons one and two. These were new. Uh, my husband and I were like super into Breaking Bad back in the day. Clearly bought the DVDs thinking that we were going to watch it on DVD. And uh, now there's things like Netflix and Amazon Prime and Hulu and all the other ones. And, and you don't need DVDs. So these never got opened, thankfully. And I made a profit of $7.68 on these two. That is the first of two DVDs that went out in this order. Oh, and Breaking Bad had also been in my store for about two years and never sold. And I ended the listing and relisted it and it sold. Now, does this count because it went to subscribers? I don't think if you guys went and searched that you'd be able to tell what items I had ended and relisted, right? I mean, because I have stuff relisting all the time, like at the end of the month. So I don't know. I'm still taking this as a win. I'm still taking it as a, this experiment was like, whoa, right? And I need to dedicate more time to doing that because I'm shocked if something hasn't been moving in your store that you can just end the listing, sell similar and relist it and it sells. It's amazing. It's amazing. So Breaking Bad, I made $7.68 in profit. And then this one, all about garbage and recycling, which is so cute. I made $3.20 on this one. So in this one, it was three DVDs that I was able to package together, cutting the shipping in half, basically. So instead of paying $3.49 
to ship each of them separately and coming up at almost $7 in shipping, I came up at $3.49 total, which is totally awesome. It actually might've been a little bit more than that because they were a little heavier, but still my profit for Saturday, $19.67. I'm pretty sure that's the highest profit we have had. No, it's not, it's not. It's the third highest profit we've had since I started this challenge 16 days ago. I have had a couple $20 days. But $19.67, which I am so happy with. I feel like if someone could make $19.67 every single day of the month, it's $590. That is $590 you're bringing in extra. That is, that's not inconsequential. You know what I mean? Like that is pretty awesome. So my running total for the month in my 30-day challenge, which by the way, we know we all know I'm not making it to $1,000, but I am making all kinds of positive moves and trending the right direction as we move into Black Friday and holiday shopping. My running total is $166.65. That is how much profit I've made in 16 days. We're averaging about $10 a day. I am, like I said, never going to complain about $10 a day because I am doing this as a side hustle. I'm just looking to bring in a little extra money and uh, take a little extra pressure off of myself, my husband, and my family while we try to start a business. We are in the middle of starting a greenhouse business. That has been four years of hell. I don't know how else to put it. It, is, it has been hell. It is, this is, it's been a long journey, and it is still not income generating. It is revenue generating, but we're not into the profit zone yet, and that's okay. That is okay. All of this is okay um, because this is temporary. We're going to make it. We're going to make it through this. So I was really happy. I did want to film a video where I like showed you what I was shipping out. But by the time I got a chance yesterday to actually pack my stuff up and ship it, it was like 2.30. My last pickup at my post office on Saturdays is at 3 p.m. And I did not want it to miss going out. I wanted it to go out on Saturday so that it would start shipping. Otherwise it wouldn't go out until Monday morning and I didn't want it to sit at the post office for two, two days. So I really was in a rush to go find them, get them together, package them up, put a label on them and get them to the post office. So I didn't actually get a chance to ship it, but what are you gonna do? I'm not perfect all the time. Um, today we have more sports. We have a Bills game. Uh, go Bills. By the time this gets up, it'll probably be Monday and hopefully we'll all be celebrating a Bills win. But I always get nervous against the Jets. I don't know, guys. I always, I don't know why the Jets make me nervous every single year. Ugh. Anyways, this is not a football. This is not a football YouTube, okay? This is an eBay YouTube. Um, but I, there is some running around to do today and like laundry and it's Sunday and, um, we do Sunday sauce and what I do is my husband and I together make a huge, huge thing of sauce, which we obviously will eat tonight. And then we freeze it up in like Ziploc bags that we pull out on a weekly basis. And so we will usually wind up with five or six weeks worth of sauce. Um, but today is the actual sauce making day. So it's a long day, but we love doing it. It's like, I don't know, Kevin and I really enjoy making sauce together. It's like just fun. Getting it seasoned just right. Yeah, so we're making sauce and um, things are busy. It's a busy week next week. We've got some stuff going on with Michael. We're actually going to do some filming of some stuff with him that's for something secret that I can't tell you about yet, but uh we'll see we'll see where it goes you never know i don't know i mean he gets the craziest opportunities i have never <sighs> one of these is gonna work that's what i say anyways i hope you guys are all having a beautiful day i hope your challenges are going well if you're doing one and your store is headed in the right direction and you are listing regularly and if you have items that have been in your store for a long time that you are ending those items and then selling similar and relisting them because that is like, that feels to me like the biggest hack I've ever found on eBay. And I mean, I have two years, I've been trying everything, right? I'll, I'll, try, I'll, I'll experiment with anything. This feels like the biggest hack that everyone tried except for me. <laughs> Anyways, happy Sunday or Monday, I guess when this goes up, because I know I won't get this edited up and up today. There's just not time. So happy Monday, I guess. And here's to a beautiful week of profits and getting things done 
and getting ready for the holidays and also finding a, just a little bit of time for some joy for yourself because Angela said it in a, a previous video and I have not had time to respond to all those comments, but you do have to take time for yourself. I'm very bad at taking time for myself. It is the, uh, it's like, that is my biggest fault is that I, I, I suck at balance and I, when I'm not doing well with balance, the thing that usually gets dropped first is taking care of myself. <laughs> so make sure you take care of yourself too. And I will see you guys in the next one, which is tomorrow. If you haven't liked and subscribed and you'd like to, that would be awesome. I would love it. It really helps me as a creator. Also, if you're still here, I always feel bad because by the end you guys are gone. But if you're still here, I did splurge this weekend and buy myself a screen printing kit from Speedball. And I have been wanting to try to learn to screen print shirts for a long time. Um, Michael always needs band shirts. I feel like we're getting ripped off. I feel like it looks very hard, but I really want to learn it. So if that's interesting, I will do a video on me trying to screen print my first shirt. It's, it could be a total disaster. I don't know. I, or, or it could be awesome. I could have a new career. Or it could be a total disaster, which is usually how it goes for me, at least the first try. But you know me, I never give up. So I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.